Oh, hello. Welcome once again to Stuff and Things, where I like to talk about stuff and occasionally even things. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today it is time for a pipe blend first impressions video. And this one is interesting. It's one that I'm intrigued by quite a bit. It is from Seattle Pipe Club, and it is Hogshead. Part of their signature series, and the printing on this tin is such that you probably can't see that at all, but it says Hogshead. It is Seattle Pipe Club Hogshead Signature Series. Pure Virginia plug, 10 year old aged and rare orange and red Virginias. So this is a full straight Virginia mix. It's one that I've never tried. It is one that is fairly new and it was sent to me by Seattle Pipe Club or by Sutliff, whichever one you want to pick. Sutliff produces the Seattle Pipe Club blends. Um, pretty interested in this. So let's pop this open. As per usual in the first impressions videos, I have never had the blend before and I try not to look too much up about the blend before I have it. So this is a fresh tasting of pipe tobacco. Once I've had this for a week or two, I will do a full review, but these are just my first impressions. So let's crack it open. We have a little pull tab on the top. There is a dog freaking out outside. We're just gonna have to ignore that. Wow. Okay, let me show you that. That is one big old hunk of tobacco. Big old plug. I don't even know if I can get this out of here. Let me smell this first. Ooh. Wow, that's a very fruity smelling Virginia. And that dog is just flipping out out there. Um, very trail mixy kind of flavor or smell here. I'm getting apples and raisins. Mm, a little bit of hay stuff, but it's mostly a fruity kind of Virginia flavor or aroma. I don't know if I can get this out of the tin. Here we go. Look at that. That is ridiculous. I don't know if I've ever had such a large plug before. That is crazy. All right, well, since this is a plug, I have brought a knife with me. It is my Bark River Ultralight Bushcrafter. A beautiful knife in CPM 3V. Smaller version of the normal Bushcrafter. I'm gonna chop this thing up. I'm gonna load the pipe and we're gonna see how it tastes. I'm expecting this to be good. This is a straight Virginia blend. I like straight Virginia blends. I like the flavor profile of plugs, even though they're a little bit more difficult or I guess less convenient to prepare and load your pipe with, but no big deal here. I'm gonna chop this up and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, that Bark River made short work of that plug. I'll show you what we're gonna be working with here. I just kind of cut the corner off, cut more than I needed to, but then that way I can have another bowl ready. Man, this thing is <laughs> so heavy, it's gonna rip the paper. So there you go. We have the plug cut, and I haven't even rubbed it out yet. That's just sort of how it flaked off as I was slicing off thin slices of the plug. So I'm gonna put this in the tin, Lord above. That dog will not shut up. And then we're gonna see what happens when I just kind of rub it out a little bit. Not gonna do too much because it seems like it's really flaking apart here. Yeah, I just barely touched it. And now we have got this. Make sure it focuses on that and not on my eyes. So that is a nice, good pile. It seems like a pretty good moisture content right now. So. I'm gonna load up my Costello. Beautiful straight pipe here, long shank, sea rock briar. Let's load it up and we will reconvene once I'm ready to taste. All right, gang, the pipe is loaded. Let's test the draft. Not bad. Let's light it up and see what happens. Hmm, 
interesting. Seems to take the light well. Like I said, the moisture content is pretty good here. Give it a tamp, try it again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Some thoughts are forming. Hold on. Hmm. Interesting. So initial impressions so far are very sweet and very fruity. I'm not tasting very much, if any, of the typical grassy, hay-like flavor that you would expect from a straight Virginia blend. And not really, not even sort of the brighter citrus end of the fruit spectrum of a straight Virginia blend. It's a really, it's a really sweet kind of syrupy, fruity flavor. Apples, pears kind of, maybe raisins as well. Interesting. I want to get it lit again. I'm going to try it out for, I don't know, a good five minutes so I can really see if I can get my head around it, but it's not tasting at all like I thought it would. Hmm. It really seems to me through taste and mouthfeel and the fact that I'm almost starting to feel a little bit of a bite developing, a tongue bite, it feels like there's a topping on here. I don't know what that topping is necessarily, but it definitely seems like it has the characteristics of a blend with a topping. And most blends have some sort of topping, but some are more transparent than others. This one seems like there's something going on here, especially in the mouthfeel, especially, it's hard to explain, but just the way the smoke feels, the way it smokes, the way it burns, the way it makes the inside, the roof of my mouth, my tongue feel, it feels like there's a topping. And the fact that it's not matching the flavor profile of most straight Virginia blends that I know, even ones, this one said, 10 year old aged and rare orange and red Virginias. I've had a lot of blends with the high red Virginia quotient to them or components, a large percentage of red Virginia. This one just isn't matching up with any of those. It's like I said, very fruity. There's almost an apples and cinnamon kind of flavor to this. It's not bad in any way, but it also almost feels as though, or tastes as though there's Cavendish in here and supposedly there isn't. Obviously I haven't researched this yet because it's a first impressions video. But right now it tastes kind of gloopy. It seems as though it might bite me. And I don't know if I love the flavor yet. When I have a straight Virginia, I love a little bit of that grass, granted a little bit of fruit as well, but I also really like the nice yeasty bready flavor. This doesn't have any of the yeasty bread flavor. It has almost none of the grassy hay-like flavor and the fruity flavor that it does have is not the bright citrusy flavor that I'm used to in a Virginia. It's very sweet, kind of gloopy. It's just, it's not what I was expecting and I don't know that it's something I'm going to enjoy but obviously I need to smoke this for another week or two before I can make a final pronouncement. As of now, ugh, I don't know that I'm super pleased with Seattle Pipe Club Hogshead, part of their signature series. Stay tuned for the full review. I'm gonna make sure that I really put this through its paces. I'll do some research on this blend, but for now, yeah, yeah, yeah is the best way I can use to describe this. Uh, Seattle Pipe Club, Hogshead. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your good friend Bradley. You've been the audience. This has been Stuff and Things. I'll see you later. Mmm. Yes. Oh, hello. Do you like videos about pipes and or pipe tobacco? and other fun subjects like that? Well, YouTube doesn't. In fact, they dislike those kinds of videos so much that they don't let us monetize them because they consider them unsuitable for most advertisers. But if you do, please consider supporting us on patreon.com slash stuffandthingsshow. Link in the description box below. 
it would be much appreciated and it would go towards helping us create more content like this.